Next team, right here. Fantastic. Weapons to these guys. You guys are gonna cycle right now. Go ahead and jump in here, guys. I got a short team. Get on the door. You guys know what to do? Let's see what you got. Quarter speed. Here's another one. I got more. Quarter speed. Stack up. You're one. Sir, you're two. Three, four, five, six. Two, one. Charge is taking a long time to set. Breach! Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Freeze. You go opposite here. Don't exaggerate. Look at that corner. Point at it. Dig the corners deep, guys. Dig the corners deep. Half speed. Half speed. Nice and smooth. Nice and slow. Three, two, one. Way to step out of the funnel. Guys, that was really good. I didn't see the corner. Did you clear your corner deep, boss? Good job. You are now number one, sir. Number two, number three, number four, number five, stack. Good job, you guys. All the way in there. Somebody was there, he's dead. A lot better, sir. A lot better. Hey, partner, when you get, come, your, get your muzzle. Bring it in. Up here. Elbows in. Tight. This is close quarters now. When you're coming in. You want to lower your profile. You want to get your arms squeezed in when you're in, in, in the battlefield, right? One. So that you can limit your exposure to the bad guys. Three, four, five, six. Do want to go again? Let's back up on this one. Any motivated people here? Come on down if you're motivated. Grab a weapon. Let's go. We're going to break in a minute for lunch. You got 15, 10 more mics to Then afterwards, we'll start shooting people. Four, One. Breach. Breach. Yeah. Well, but then you went. It's hard not to put my team in there pushing the guys away. One, two, three, four, five. And you guys are doing the right thing Whoa. at the right spot without having pre assigned numbers. You guys are doing really good at this stage. Uh, um, so that handles the what if. Yeah. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. You show me that weapon, and I'm going to take your weapon from you. Okay, you're going to have a magazine, but I'm going to have this, and I got mags. I, I still them off a bunch of dead GIs that did that. All right? Three, two, breach! Oh! Ooh, held him back. You got caught in You! That's called Murphy! How many people died on that entry? Yeah. Oh, shit. No. Guys, next time that happens, what are you going to do? Go around oh, sure. You're going to sure going to get through that door because you're in the funnel and that's a bad place to be. Yeah. All right, breach. Nice. Now, the only thing I'd say about that is what did you do to your weapon when you came to this position? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who did you muzzle? Uh, everybody in the room. You did. That's okay. It's, it's, it's hard to learn. It really is. So when you're here and you're coming around to, to take six, you got to come around here and you got to say, just a little dip. And that just comes with muscle memory and training, so let's do it again. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. As you work. Number one. Number, number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Three, two, one. Breach. Come on, guys. Fight through. Get in the room. Get in the room. Get in the room. Stack. Stack. Three, two, one, breach. Nice. Nice. Hey, hey, they're soft. It's okay. Rule M16 used to do that. Hey, hey, you got to go. All right. Do it again. Three, two, one, breach. You better not stand there like that. Not playing.
Knucklehead, 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 knucklehead. Yeah. Who's a knucklehead? Why? Because you got everybody killed in the funnel and you went, what's going on, man? It's okay, do it now, right? You had the displeasure of being number one on that one. All right, buddy, recover. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. You're number one. Go down there again. Hey, you're number one. Ma'am, you're number one. You're number one. You're Three, two, one, breach! Stand up, do it again, let's go, get in the room. Come on, man. Three, two, one, breach! There's nothing, you gotta kill me. Boom, boom, boom. Alright. Don't worry about it, I'll kill the targets, alright? One more time. Kill us. Over here, come on, over here, over here, over here. Over here. Over here. You gotta understand. Kill us. Three, two, one, breach! Freeze. Stop, freeze. Just maintain posture. You have to commit deep to this room. You have to commit to that corner and move so these guys can get in. Okay? So you gotta step into this, clear it, and then begin to shift. Go. Do it again. Quickly, 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 quickly. Okay, way to recover. Way to recover. Okay, your your position at the end here is good. It's not bad at all. What what are you doing right here? What do you got? Little what? You got, of, you got a lot of muscles up. You're looking really really good. That's good. Okay, everybody down here on the wall. Good job, Brian. Two. Everybody down here on the wall. Go. Yeah! I got recovered. Bang, bang. There's anything that impedes your ability to get into that room and get it done, unless it has wires and detonator attached to it, you need to clear the obstacle. Or you need to back out. You need to do one or the other. If you're under fire in that room, backing out is not a good idea. Because instead of getting shot in the chest, you're getting shot in the back. you got to kill the objective. Uh, get the, kill the person in the room and get it done. Sir. What we normally do, weapon, and don't do this in here today. Thank you for the commando weapon. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm going to kill you! you it's, a, it's a circle. It's a rotation with the M16. You rotate it from here. You jam it into the sternum. The other thing you can do with the M16s from here is you can sweep it up and hit them on the side of the temple with the side post. Wham, wham. I like the muzzle because from here, I can zip them at the same time. Okay, um, anybody have any questions? Ma'am, you had a point you wanted to make. Do you breach the room when you want to push anybody that's in the room into the line of fire instead of pushing them into a corner? You just don't want to ignore them by just pushing them around to get to look at the wall. You're you want, exactly right. You want to just like you want to <coughs> maintain control of them, like grab them or detain them or. I'm certainly not going to push them behind me. Absolutely, I'm going to take care of them, push them to, and drive them to the ground. Very simple. Just gain control of the room. If you walk past somebody, do you have control of that room? How do we Maybe it was dominance because of our posture, voice. You establish dominance by three things. You do it verbally. You do it by posture, and you do it by tools. Lights, weapons, whatever it takes to establish dominance, those are the three basic areas it falls under. There's a few kinds of communication, okay? There's body language, right? If I'm just kind of like, you can say whatever you want about that long body language, that person may not be ready. Then there's, then there's communication. Hey, Jaeger, I've got uh, my door to my 12 o'clock. There's a big doorway. I own it. I control it. It'll be your 3 o'clock. i got two high-risk areas on our left. Okay. Am I looking at Jaeger when I'm talking to him? Yeah. Am I controlling my space? Yeah. Is he looking at me when I, he's talking to me? The reason that we keep physical <coughs> contact on somebody is kind of like the accordion effect, right? The reason that you hold somebody in a stack is so that you can feel them when they move. I always, when I come into a room or I'm in a tight spot or I'm in a stack or something like that, I'm getting physical touch. You're also becoming a bullet shield for your buddy. But I've got physical touch. If I'm leaning on him and he starts moving, I know. If I'm leaning on him and I start moving, he knows. Watch what he does. Check this out. 
It's a double tap. We've done it enough in here that we know when somebody does that, we're tapping out, we're moving back, we're getting out of here, or we're going someplace. Without words, you're letting this guy know, hey, I'm here, I'm right here on your side. You know where I'm at without any mistake because I'm touching you. If you have any questions about dynamic entry or stacking as a team, this is probably as deep as we're going to go for now. We'll see what happens on the next scenario, but it looks like we're going to move into movement you actually. Are, uh, I'm you are highly esteemed in this building, in, in what we do. So thank you for being here, and thank you for having faith and trust in us as we continue this afternoon. Uh, do what you've talked about. Have we missed anybody here? Do what you've talked about, and you'll succeed in this next mission. Single you have but oh s five reasons why you should use that. Uh, six. Uh, uh, seven. seven. Eight, wow. eight, eight well, actually. You know. When we come across like that, uh, it's it's a lack of trust is what it is. Or it's you get in tunnel vision again on, on and you're seeing a threat and, and you're you're running towards you're you're out in the fight response. So you gotta pull that back a little bit, trust your mates, take care of your sector, and and hope and pray everything works out well and you're not left in the room alone. We saw the flight response here, right? Great example. You can't, you can't get a better example than when you're getting shot with something that hurts and you back out of the door because whatever's a gun malfunction or whatever it was. What we'd normally do, if that happens, in the door is this. If he freezes, he's going in the door with me and I'm going to use him as a shield. The principle is simple. You're wearing 3A, you got plates normally, right? You square your shoulders to the target. You move into the room, you got good protection here, you got Kevlar on your helmet, hopefully you got ballistic glasses. You're more protected this direction than you are this direction. And so when you go through the door, if you have a malfunction, you still got to go in and get it done. And if you, we don't have time, we just don't do it here for, for everybody, but transitioning from primary to secondary or your boot or your elbow to get the job done in your corner, you got to go into the room, you can't stop the funnel. Point made, point taken? What? Okay. What feedback do you guys have? Let's go up top here. You guys have been in Sergeant Major's got something. He, he couldn't come in the room the way he was had planned because the table blocked his entry. So he either had to go into it or he had to jump the table, whichever. But what would he do? What he can do, good question, Sergeant Major. What he can do, if he comes through and finds an obstacle immediately there, he needs to communicate. Shift right! Whole team should shift L -shape. and become an L shape. You're always going to run into obstacles. You're kicking, going to rust, people have sofas, everything. You know, it's just going to be havoc under there. And uh, it's just got, got to be a matter of the team communicating. And not putting yourself at risk where you're going to get zipped by one of your team members going out that far. Um, but yeah, you shift this direction like this, you got a nice still platform to kill the bad guy. The, the key though here is from a confidence perspective, look at what's happened here every time. What's happened every time? 
got the bad guy every single time. Somebody's taking rounds occasionally too, right? It's happening every day overseas. Why is it happening every day overseas maybe? When they're taking rounds not to get blown up by cars and bricks? Stuff like this, right? That's a rough place to learn it. So we think this is a good opportunity for you to learn it now. The skills and stuff are perishable. You have to practice that in your guard or your reserve time when you're doing uh, other weekends and stuff. But more importantly, the stress factors are what we're trying to bring out. So you recognize them and understand how you're behaving when you're exposed to it. And now you can deal with it. If you know the truth, you can deal with it. If you don't know the truth, you might not live through it.